hey hello friends welcome to my channel sapsd and abap league support today we'll discuss about one more business requirement relevant to sapsd enhancements first let me tell you the requirement from business year we all know that there is a transaction code available that is v.23 so this, so this v.23 transaction code used to list out all the sales orders where there is a billing block applied on those orders and with the help of this we can try to remove the billing block for those orders so let me show in system as well let me log in first okay so let me access the t code v.23 so here i will give the sales arg i can give some other information like sales area customer the date when it was created and it was created by whom as of now i am giving with only the sales organization only let me execute this right so the purpose of this v.23 standard transaction code is that to remove the billing block from the orders so this v.23 will display only the orders which has billing block so select the orders and click on delete billing block if you click delete billing block then what will happen in the background the sales order will be opened and uh, the billing block will be removed and the order will be saved so during save in order if the customer has oldest to open items or some other credit checks has been failed some fsm technical issues any reasons credit block is applied then we will get this pop up window you see here i am basically in my system i don't have any order with credit block and it requires some time to configure all the credit setup that's why i took example from different system i am trying to remove the billing block from different system only that order has a credit block right so i am i am removing the credit block for one of the order in v.23 and uh, when i click delete billing block then i am getting this pop up window saying that credit check sap has been failed so something wrong with the credit limit or oldest open items or some technical issues payment authorization anything in those cases credit block will be applied so in this example the customer has an oldest open item that is 61 days overdue is there that's why system throwing this credit block error and this is the exact problem that business has in their mind see if they try to release the credit block for sorry billing block for hundreds of orders at a time so as of now i have only three examples but in real time scenarios in production system if we have hundreds of orders for which we need to remove the billing block then select everything then click delete billing block if you click delete billing block on all of the 100 orders has that the credit failure happens credit management failure happens that time we will get that 100 times the credit block windows for each and every order so we'll get 100 pop up windows so every time whenever we get the window we should click this okay like this we should click for 100 times this is annoying for business basically so this should be avoided right as per standard behavior it can't be avoided but through some custom enhancements 
you can simply achieve this hope you understood the requirement here is that you should surprise you should bypass or we should skip this window credit management window when we release the credit block from v.23 right and in your project also it's for, for some on some any other reasons if you want to skip the credit block credit check and any of the orders means the solution that i'm going to provide you can simply follow that let me tell you how can we achieve this so first thing is that we should add one custom field we should add add custom field custom field into vbak header table as judged skip some field any custom field and it's in one character length field second step is to populate data to this field as x in case of transaction code va02 only so whenever sorry sorry is v.23 so whenever billing block removed from v.23 transaction code in that case only we are going to populate value x here because in that case only we need to skip the credit block right that's why we are doing this one so populate that field so where exactly and which place program that we can populate let me show you that so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove billing block for the first order click delete billing block okay so remember that this is the important functional model that we should keep in our mind sd underscore order underscore credit check this is the function model which will be triggered in case of an order save order create time to perform the credit checks on that order right so in this function model so in this function model only we should create the implicit enhancement starting of this function model so we should create implicit enhancement in fm so the logic what we can write is that okay let me tell you one more thing here if you see my screen i am adding one variable in the right side s y hyphen t code see i am running this uh, i am doing some changes to this order through v.23 right that's why i see the t code is sir v23 so based on this variable so if psi t code equal to v.23 then what we will do we will update vbak jz sk ip equal to abap true yeah so abap true is nothing but it x x means abap true so in v.23 case only we are updating the x value to this vbap jz sk ip skip this is step 2 and remember that so first of all um, i have published already one video about uh, how to add the custom field to the standard table you can check out that video i will try to provide the link in the description also so you can that will guide you how to add a custom field to the standard database table okay yeah so once the code has been written as a implicit enhancement in the function model sd order credit check and pass x 
in case of v.23 in other t codes v.02 va02 va01 in those cases no need to enter anything here just skip the code the code should trigger in case of v.23 only the next step is that we should develop the body develop the body so it is one of the um, concept in ABAP it's a body enhancements we discussed about uh, user exists right similar way this is body also one of the user exists which works based on the whoops object oriented programming language so the body here is that that is cl ex underscore body underscore sd underscore cm okay, let me open that in front of you cl underscore ex underscore body underscore sd underscore cm yeah so this is the body inside this we should develop one new interface body basically right so inside this interface what we need to write a code is that if vb ak JZSKP is not initial. That means it's handling value. If it's holding any value, then no underscore check equal to zero. This is a simple logic we should add to bypass the credit check here in case of V.23. So let me show you that in the debug mode also. okay let me come here and click f8 f5 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 f6 fine so inside this body only we should add our logic yeah this one fscm credit check order so inside this uh, body method we are changing the parameter no check so we are making it as zero so whenever no check equal to zero or no check is initial then the standard code return to bypass the credit checks And this might be the requirement in case of any other T code also. This is how we should skip the credit validation in case of V.23. It's not required at all, right? So we are in the back, we are executing the, we are doing changes to this order in the background. So in case of anything happening in the background, in that case, it's not required to display that credit pop-up window, not required at all right and moreover when you release a billing block no nothing will change in the order the net value of that order item quantity nothing everything will be stable only no change at all right if there is no change at all in the order then no it's not required to perform the credit check again right yeah so this is the business genuine requirement to surpass the credit block window Okay, fine friends. We'll meet in the next video. Thanks everyone.